All right, guys, when's the last time you drank green tea? A couple of weeks ago, maybe. Actually, last Thursday at Holiday World. Last Thursday at Holiday flavored. World. flavored. A couple weeks ago. When's the last time you drank no, green I, tea? No, I don't recall. Probably the last time. I win? Last time I drank green tea, you or, or someone, my fiance, <laughs> may have forced me to do so. It's not something I regularly drink. But I'm, I'm surprised your arms behind your back. They have free drinks at the water park there, so. I got tired of pop and I had peach green tea. Well, here's the good news Probably about the green stuff, tea. Though. Green tea could be an asset when it comes to a slim figure. Obviously. Obviously, <laughs> I am not drinking green tea. <laughs> Dancy Muller has more in her latest health segment with Dr. Trudy Peeper. Well, we are joined again by Dr. Trudy Peeper, and Dr. Peeper is a naturopathic doctor from the Licking County area, but she serves all of Ohio. So if you're interested in, in how um, you can tap into nature's bounty, um, Dr. Peeper is the person to go to. And we're going to talk now about green tea. That was a, a big trend probably over the last um, five years to drink green tea, but um, you're going to tie it into belly fat, which is yes. really interesting <laughs> to me because as you reach a certain age, it seems you can do all the stomach crunches you want, but it still is there. So what can you offer along those lines? Green tea, well, tea in general is the most popular drink in the world. More people drink tea than anything else. And the University of Maryland uh, just recently completed a study which was so interesting where they gave green tea to obese patients who are ex exercising okay. and found that if you drink green tea while you're exercising, you will lose three more pounds of belly fat and reduce um, your weight by 7% more than those who didn't drink the green tea. Now, of course, the important part about this is the green tea had no sugar in it. Uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always that. <laughs> but it's, uh, green tea is loaded with antioxidants, and that's one of the key things that is for energy levels, but also helps with your metabolism and uh, fights off free radical damage. So there's a lot of good things about green tea that people need to be aware of. But we see a lot of different green teas out there. Some have caffeine actually mm -hmm. in them. Um, does it matter specifically what kind you're going to purchase? There are green teas, there are um, green teas that are mixed in with black teas. Yes. And black tea has more caffeine than okay. green tea. Caffeine has like 30 ounces, 30 milligram, milligrams. milligrams of caffeine per cup, where green tea has like three. Okay. So you definitely want to go with a green tea. The, it also is the way that they make the tea, that the black tea has less antioxidants than the green tea. Okay, so, so there is a true difference. There is definitely a difference between black tea and green tea in the what green so go. What if you put the honey in it to sweeten it? You can do that. Uh, stevia is probably a better way to go. Okay. It's the plant, the green leaf, which is very, very sweet. Um, it, and it has less calories because what we find with belly fat, that it's um, something that's called um, metabolic syndrome, that people, as we get older, we store our glucose in our bellies. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to get rid of the belly fat, then you shouldn't take anything that has OSE in it, O-S-E at the end, glucose, oh. anything with corn syrup, fructose, uh, sucrose, sucrose. Yeah. anything if you look and it has OSE at the end of it, you probably don't want to have that because you're going to store it around your belly. You will use as much as you possibly can and then when you don't need it, your body says, ah, I might need this later. So it will store it in those cells around your stomach. If you, when those cells get full and they can expand four times their size, after that then they grow new ones to store it. So overall, if you want to put the uh, sweeten it, I would say not to use, even though honey is natural, it still has an os to it. So it would be stored if you don't use it. Okay. And when we're talking about belly fat, I mean, it, this is not something that is just unique to women. Men also, um, you know, fight the, the bulge um, around their middles. And so what do you... Do you suggest green tea for both men and women, and does it work the same? It does work the same. Uh, in general, the studies showed that the men had a greater loss than the women, but in most cases, they had more to lose than the women. So for both men or women, the green tea absolutely would help. It also will count in fluid levels and helping to increase your fluids and um, increasing that energy level that we had talked about in several other programs that we Is this something, though, that we have to drink a whole lot of in order to get the benefits? I mean, are we talking about drinking four cups a day of green tea or maybe, you know, um, you know, substituting it for a cup of coffee? It, it probably needs about three glasses of green tea, three eight ounce glasses to make an impact. Does it? Okay. Yes. So one cup, you know, obviously helps. 
three is the, the kind of the magic number that was used in the study. Okay. That they, throughout the day, they drank um, before the exercise, during the, when the exercise, and after the exercise, they were drinking the green tea, the three eight ounce glasses with that. Okay. So it might be something to keep in mind when you're exercising to make sure you're doing green tea. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, Dr. Pieper, thank you so much. My pleasure, thank All you right. for having me. And back to you.